Finally, finally, Microsoft 365 Copilot is available now to anyone and everyone, and there is no minimum requirement on the number of licenses you have to purchase. As a matter of fact, I bought one license for myself last night. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the different Copilot offering Microsoft launched yesterday, their prices and the prerequisites you need to have to purchase them, and in which country they are available, and some of those common questions people have in the process of deciding to purchase Copilot. Last September, Microsoft announced that 365 Copilot would become generally available to businesses on November 1st, 2023. And on November 1st, we realized that it was only available to large enterprises with Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 license. And when they do, they have to purchase minimum 300 licenses and also for one entire year. So most businesses and non-individual could purchase 365 Copilot. Yesterday, January 15, 2024, Microsoft announced 365 Copilot is now available to any individual and to businesses of any size. Now, the first question is, what is the actual date we can start to purchase 365 Copilot? The answer is yesterday, January 15, 2024. Last night, actually, I went online and bought my Copilot Pro license. Yesterday, Microsoft announced three different types of co-pilots. So our second question is, what exactly are the different co-pilots and how are they different? The first one is just called co-pilot, which was Bing Chat, which is similar to the Chat GPT. It allows you to ask questions, get answers, generating text, generating images, and this is free for anyone to use. The second one is Copilot Pro, which allows you to use Copilot within Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. And down the road, you can also build customized Copilot GPTs, similar to ChatGPT Plus, allows you to build customized GPTs. And this costs you 20 US dollars per month per user. And the third one is called Copilot for Microsoft 365, which also allows you to use Copilot within Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. In addition to that, you can also use that within Teams. And the Copilot can also use Microsoft Graph to pull data from various sources within your organization to generate corresponding output. And this costs 30 US dollars per month per user. And you can buy one or you can buy multiple license. There's no minimum requirement. The third question is, which co-pilot should you purchase? This depends on who you are. If you are an individual, you can only purchase Copilot Pro. You cannot purchase Copilot for Microsoft 365. And you must have Microsoft 365 personal or family subscription to purchase Copilot Pro. If you have the family plan, you knew that you could share your office apps with five additional family members. But the Copilot Pro license is for one individual user. You cannot share that with the five family members. If they want it, they have to purchase from their own Microsoft account. If you are a business, you cannot purchase Copilot Pro. You can only purchase Copilot for Microsoft 365 and you must have one of six licenses to purchase this. The six licenses are Microsoft 365 Business Standard, Business Premium, Microsoft 365 E3, E5, Office 365 E3, E5. If you are purchasing Copilot Pro, your subscription will be on a monthly basis. You will be charged every month. If you are purchasing Copilot for Microsoft 365, your subscription will be on an annual basis. You will be charged every year. The fourth question is where? In which countries is Copilot available for individuals and businesses to purchase? 
At this time, it's only available in 15 countries. They are United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Italy, Spain, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and India. Apparently, if you are an enterprise with E3 or E5 license, as long as you are on the planet Earth, Microsoft will make Copilot available for your enterprise. The fifth question is how? How to purchase Copilot? If you're purchasing Copilot Pro, this can be done easily online. You will go to a particular Microsoft web page, and I'll put that link in the description below. You do need to log into your Microsoft account. Over there, you can subscribe to the Copilot Pro and your credit card will charge for one month. If you're a small or medium business with business standard or business premium license, you can also do this online too. You just need to go to your Microsoft Admin Center and then you can add Copilot into your subscription. If you are an enterprise, apparently you will be purchasing lots of license and you need to contact your Microsoft representative to purchase Copilot. I want to show you how I purchased Copilot Pro last night. It's very simple and easy. It takes only two or three minutes. The first step, go to this particular Microsoft web page. Since I'm located in Canada, it prompted me to go to the Microsoft Canada website. And the price is in Canadian dollar, which is 27 Canadian dollars per month. And then I click on the Get Copilot Pro, and then in the second step, it confirm what I'm purchasing, and then I click on Subscribe. Then I came to the third step, which is confirming I have subscribed to Microsoft Copilot Pro. There is one thing you need to know. After I finished those three steps, then I opened my Microsoft Excel application, but in the Home tab, initially, I did not see this Copilot icon. That's because I need to sign out from my Excel application and then to sign back in. After that, the Copilot icon will appear over here. Now, if you do plan to use Copilot within Excel, there are two more things you need to know. First, your Excel file has to be saved on OneDrive or Microsoft SharePoint Online to be in the cloud. Otherwise, the Copilot cannot work. Second, your data has to be within a table. Like this range over here, it's a regular range, it's not a table. So when I come over here to the code palette, I cannot type any question over here. Now, if I do turn this into a table, which is very simple and easy to do, I basically need my cursor in the range, I go to the insert tab, I click on the table, uh, this range is fine, I say okay, so now this range become a table. Since the table, now my cursor is in the table and I go to this code palette. Then I can ask code palette questions. One question I got is this. Can we buy code palette directly without buying Microsoft 365 personal or family, business standard, business premium, or E3, E5? The answer is no. You must have one of the license to purchase code palette pro or Copilot for Microsoft 365. Some people may buy the Office 2021 as a one-time purchase, or some company they may buy the annual subscription of Microsoft 365 app for business. For them, they cannot access Copilot Pro or Copilot for Microsoft 365. A lot of the question many people ask is this, is that a free trial for Copilot? The answer is no. Microsoft is not offering any free trial for Copilot. I understand for many businesses and individuals, they have to see how Copilot works within Word, Excel, and PowerPoint before they make the decision to purchase. In that case, you may want to subscribe to my channel as I will create many more videos to show you how Copilot works within Office applications. Do you plan to purchase Microsoft 365 Copilot? Or do you think your company will purchase Copilot for the employees? And what about the price? Do you think that's too high or still acceptable? Let me know what you think in the comments below and like this video. Thank you.